Okay, welcome back to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing a ocean theme um, mixed media. Be starting off with some alcohol inks. Sorry, alcohol inks. Um, this is Kirkland photo paper, and instead of the shiny side, I'm using the back side. So what I'm doing with this is I have this frame. So the alcohol ink background will go inside the glass and then I'm going to do some mixed media on the outside of the frame. I'm using different sand and pebbles. I'm going to be using some beads, driftwood, seashells, different things to make uh, like coral, sand, put some bling in there. And um, anyway, we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping uh, maybe a 3D fish I have sitting here. We'll see if that'll look good on there. That's the first time I've done anything like this, so let's learn together. So let's start out with the background. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. I haven't worked with alcohol inks in a very long time. Um, this first color is Laguna. Why is my, why is my camera doing that? Laguna. It's still not very clear. This color is Monsoon. I think this is Stream. Yes. This one's Glacier. These are Ranger alcohol inks. So let's get going. Um, I could have just left it clear. Not really, not with this frame. I could have just left it with a white background um, because I'm going to be using resin on the top of the frame. Okay, now I'm going to be putting the background in the frame so I can um, use resin on the glass part. So let me show you what I did. This is a, a reused frame. So I find things at thrift stores, garage sales that I can reuse in my art. And um, yeah, why not? Repurpose. So what I did was around the edges, I put this tacky glue. You can use uh, silicone, other glues, Elmer's, and I put it in there so when I pour the resin on the front that it won't leak through. But I also need to, um, I've seen someone else do it, just for a double protection, go ahead and put some tape along the inside until the resin dries. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we will come back and I'll make sure this fits. It does, put it down to size, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I have this dolphin, and so I drew the dolphin, and then I outlined it with this PBO relief outliner. I let that dry, and then I just painted the dolphin gray with regular acrylic paint and a lighter gray here. So now I thought that I would use Tri Art Liquid Glass, I have in this bottle, paint in there and then sprinkle some glass seed beads in the dark area and sprinkle, I'm not sure if I want to use these white or the gray color, silver. 
for the little area here. I don't know, I'm just messing around. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to do this a little bit different than what I've seen done. I'm going to go ahead and use a liquid glass and lay down the sand on top of that. Then I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to put all my shells and coral and all that. Um, by then the dolphin should be dry too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to attach everything else with the resin. So we'll see if this works out. Um, the problem with doing it this way is that glass, I might get some sand up underneath here, but I think I got it, I glued, used like a glue to glue the glass onto the frame and then you see the tape here that I'll be taking off just so the resin doesn't go through, but let's just get going. So this view is going to be an underwater view, it's not going to be a V a beach view. This sand was from Michael's, so it's not real sound, sand from Hawaii. And I have put some little copper beads in here to give it a little sparkle. These little tiny seed beads to make it sparkle. So in case you're wondering, I don't, if I use real sand, it's, my friend brought some from Florida. I don't use it, Hawaiian sand. Okay, we'll let that dry and I'll return in a couple hours and then we'll finish putting the rest of the shells on. Some seaweed, some coral. Got this turtle here that I did the same thing with the outline and I just painted him. Whoops. Just painted him. So that's my first time using the outline, using the PBO. There's, you know, you got to get used to it. So hopefully if I do it again, it'll look a lot better. Um, I think that's, oh, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle this. This is crushed marbles. So I just put them in material, got it on concrete and smashed them. And I just smashed them a little smaller. I think I'm going to sprinkle that over the whole thing here and there. Give it a little bit of bling. Um, not sure if I'll do this. There's some more seed beads. I might also sprinkle that. We'll just see how it goes. Okay, this is pretty dry. Um, if it's not, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and put the bigger things on here, and then I'm going to do the resin over that to attach it. I'm going to go ahead and start putting that up. And so. What I did is I had some pores that I didn't like. So this was on canvas, so I cut these out. I'm gonna use those as seaweed. Do that. This is also, this is a skin that I cut. Um, so I'm gonna use that as seaweed here.
Okay, and then when the resin is laid down, I think I'm going to just sprinkle this just not over the top of this. I'll make sure it's in the empty areas just to give it some bling. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, now let me mix up some resin and then I'll be back. I just wanted to show you um, how I made the seaweed. No matter how ugly your drippings are, go ahead and save them because you never know what you could use. I took some of the green that was out of here for this and this green, which I love, for this seaweed. So save your skins. I'm gonna get, get going mixing some resin. I took the bigger pieces off. I'll add those once I put the resin down. So let's get going. Okay, it's been 24 hours and I love how it turned out. I'll give you a close up here. Now I'm going to show you this view with the alcohol ink background. And the back of this is really nice. It's black and it has hangers or you could set it on the <clears throat> on a dresser like this. But I'm going to go ahead and take out and just have it clear and show you how beautiful that looks. Be right back. Okay, here it is with the clear background. I'm loving this too. So what's nice about this is you can add with whatever background you want. You could change it out. Here's the back. You can just hang it on a wall like that and let the wall color shine through. Um, if I were to close this, of course you'd have a brown background, but you could do a pour 
and put that on the back side and just change the looks of it depending on what you want. Really, really happy with the way this turned out. So I'll be doing some more. So keep an eye out for those frames you find at garage sales, thrift stores. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Please check out my Amazon shop. Be creative. Like I said, you know, save your pores even if you don't like them because you can use them on pretty much any, you know, to accent any pores or embellish. Take care. Aloha.